Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. The phrase "over the moon" is a great way to describe how millions of us felt when Chandrayaan three touched down on the moon last month. A true victory of the human spirit. Let's take a trip back in time to see where this incredible journey started. I want to share with you three powerful lessons based on this. It all started with one man's thinking, one man's dream. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the alchemist. So imagine this. Okay, this is India of 1960s. There is no electricity connection in most homes, and here is a man coming and telling, "Hey, let's go to space." That is moonshot thinking. Vikram Sarabhai had this grand vision that went beyond the obvious, beyond the immediate problems India faced at the time. Vikram Sarabhai recognized the potential of space technology for India's development. Moonshot thinking is all about setting this wildly ambitious goals that seem almost impossible at first glance. Moonshot thinking is a mindset. It's all about aiming at transformative, radical goals instead of incremental improvements. You know, in the process, you learn, you grow, and you know, you push your limits. And sometimes, you push humanity forward in the process. You know, that's what Vikram Sarabhai did. So next time someone tells you that your idea is too ambitious or that you should focus on more practical problems, remember Vikram Sarabhai. You know, remember that it takes one person's moonshot thinking to change the course of history. Now to shoot rockets into space, you, know, you need a special place, right? So Dr. Sarabhai wanted a place close to the Earth's magnetic equator, and he found an exceptional place for the mission. A fishing village called Tumba, right on the outskirts of Tiruvannadapuram, Kerala. Now the problem was that the land he wanted was home to a, an old church. Dr. Sarabhai met the local leaders, including the bishop, to discuss the importance of the project. He explained the space project and said, "It's not just for us scientists, but for every single Indian." Vikram Sarabhai's genuine passion and vision was so convincing that you know they agreed. You know the church's uh, father. Reverend Peter Bernard Pereira. So he invited the scientists for a Sunday mass, and told the villagers about India's space dreams. So the villagers said, "Like yes, we are doing this." They didn't understand anything about the space project, but they trusted the leader. They trusted the leader because the leader's intention was so strong and pure. So in a remarkable act of faith and contribution to science, the church agreed to relocate. Dr APJ Abdul Kalam later wrote in his biography autobiography that how the church housed the first office of the Indian Space Center and its prayer room became Kalam's first lab and a tiny room in the bishop's house became his design and drawing office you know what goes around comes around today isro is giving back to the same fishing community now, have you heard of navic navic is india's own gps system designed by isro And guess who got the first test run? The fishermen folks. So with special transponders on their boats, fishermen are safer than ever. You know, even in the deep sea, in emergencies or extreme weather condition, they get alert from the land. You know, they're just a satellite being away from help. From a small fishing village to the world stage, India's space journey teaches us that when communities come together in faith and shared vision, miracles happen. They were the first generation of Indian space scientists working on rocketry, the rocket boys. They didn't have any mentors or role models to guide them. You know, this is 1960. You know, think about it. There is no internet connection. It's not easy to communicate with people from other countries, other space agencies, and the worst, hardly any fund. But they were determined. You know, was ready to move forward in the face of many obstacles and challenges. They didn't have any resources, but they were in a resourceful state of mind. Fail forward is the idea that it's okay to fail as long as you learn from your mistakes, as long as you are moving forward. And ISRO has had its fair share of failures, but they didn't give up. And in 1963, India launched its first rocket from Tumba. And the rest, as they say, is history. 
what dr vikram sara by an incredible fox in his shows us is the unparalleled capacity of the human spirit to dream big and achieve the seemingly impossible it's a tale of determination faith and relentless pursuit of excellence the journey of chandrayaan 3 is just a story of technical triumph it's a celebration of what we can accomplish when we dare to dream act in faith and remain resilient in the face of adversity 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 